Hey everyone, how's it going? So I thought I'd do a little video today of uh, comparing my electric unicycle to my e-bike. I know I haven't done too many videos on my e-bike, so I'm going to go over it really quick. This is a uh, 1000 watt hub motor on this, and you can see it's just a, a, you know, a really cheap uh, conversion kit that you can get on Amazon. I think I paid about $250 for this at the time. And, uh, yeah, going over price, I think I paid about $250 for the bicycle itself. And then, uh, also the, uh, the battery was about 250 bucks. So roughly, you know, 750 or, you know, 750 to like maybe $850 I have, you know, tied into this bicycle. I actually do have a, a little more money in it. I have a spare controller for it. Um, it is a spare. I thought this one was bad, so I accidentally purchased another one and uh, managed to figure out what the problem is. But uh, anyway, this uh, this is a pretty cheap electric vehicle as far as electric vehicles go. And uh, I'm actually really, really happy with it. To this day, I, I really love riding the e-bike around. It, it isn't super high performance or anything, and it doesn't really go that far. It could definitely use an upgrade with the battery. But it's uh, a 48 volt, 1,000 uh, 1, watt hub motor, you know, in the front. And then this is my Tesla E wheel, and I believe this is a 1,900 watt hub motor. It's on a, a 16 inch wheel. I didn't mention it before, but this is a, a 26 inch, uh, four inch wide uh, fat wheel tire on the uh, bicycle. But anyway, getting back to the Tesla, yeah, it's a 1,900 watt hub motor, and uh, I think it's just whatever the the two and an eighth inch wide tire. It's a really tiny tire on it, you know. But uh, what's really interesting is both of these vehicles have basically the same top speed, although uh, the Tesla could be made to go a lot faster. I'm sure the uh, the top speed is 30 miles an hour. The Tesla has a, a top cruising speed of 30. And the most this uh, bicycle will do is 30. And what's really, really interesting is the gearing on the bicycle pretty much runs out between 25 and 30. So uh, it's actually pretty well matched. It would be nice to have a higher gear, you know, maybe put a bigger front sprocket on it. But uh, all in all, it's uh, for like a conversion kit, it, it's really nice. And the nice thing is you can just hop on this bicycle and go. The, uh, the electric unicycle, it takes, you know, it's going to take a while to learn how to ride it and stuff. And for me, it's really a chore to ride it. It's not really as easy as it looks. And um, it's more like doing yoga. So after about a mile or so, I usually take a break and uh, let my muscles, like, regenerate a little from the fatigue and then keep going. But the bicycle, I can stay on forever. But... Uh, yeah, the Tesla will go about 30 miles on a charge, uh, I guess 30 to 50, and I believe I could actually get it. I have never dropped this thing down below like 88% or so, you know, I only ever go on like, I don't know, maybe five or six mile rides at the most, and usually there's a, a couple breaks in there at a time. But uh, the e-bike uh, can only go six miles. So, yeah, you've got a, a range of 30 to 50 there versus six miles here. This only has a 48-volt, uh, a I think, 6-amp uh, battery. And um, the Tesla, I know it's a 72-volt it's a battery, and it's, uh, it's like a little over 1,000 watt-hours. So I'm trying to put that into comparison, but it's it's honestly probably almost like four times the battery this one is. So it would be really interesting if I could hook that battery up to the e-bike and see what kind of range and uh, power I would get out of it. I would definitely it would definitely go a lot faster. It would definitely go over uh, 30 miles an hour if it had the Tesla batteries in it. But uh, yeah, I know I haven't done any videos in a while, and I'm trying to get into the swing of things. 
But yeah, I wanted to do just a, a short little video on uh, my electric vehicles, and I have a new one on the way. I actually uh, bought an electric kick, kick scooter, so uh, just a warning out there. I guess if you start buying an electric vehicle, my first one was the bicycle, uh, you know, that hobby might grow. And uh, these things are pretty expensive. The, uh, the scooter, uh, the, the electric kick, kick scooter I have on the way, um, cost me about the same as the Tesla, about, you know, like $1,500, so it'll be really interesting to compare the two of them. But uh, I love all these vehicles. I don't ride the, uh, the bicycle enough, but while my, uh, my Tesla wasn't working, I rode the bicycle quite a bit, and uh, yeah, they're awesome. So if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, uh, from my point of view, I don't see any downside of it other than, uh, yeah... My wheel is down. You should be mechanically inclined if you get this stuff. Uh, you will run into problems. Uh, on the Tesla, I haven't really done a video about this. This is a, as good a time as any. I've, uh, I've had a flat tire, and uh, I've had this case apart about five times. This side, you would think you would get really, really good at it after doing it that much. And I am pretty proficient at it now, but you can see I have the lights or are not put back on properly and I have to take it apart one more time the uh, the Bluetooth speaker does not work but you can s see it's still glowing there and then uh, what else the uh, the cutoff switch it works now but uh, I had to get in there and resolder it the the connection broke but all in all even with with uh, all the problems I've had with the Tesla uh, I still think it's a really awesome vehicle, and it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to end it here, and uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.